Hello everyone, Logan from Curated Avalon, and today I will be talking about my Camera Laterna Fountain Pen from Kilk. This is something that's been on my list for a while now, and it's just been unavailable to purchase or acquire. I've been on a waiting list and finally got the email saying it was available to purchase. So I've had it for, goodness, just a few weeks now, but I've been using it and enjoying it. So I just wanted to discuss it and uh, just share what I enjoy about this fountain pen. To start, uh, this is the packaging and I love it. Uh, it's very well thought out. It's very attractive, especially for gifting uh, or if you just really like a fancy packaging that isn't overwhelming. Uh, this slips off and then you have the Kilk box with their logo and the box has a magnetic closure which I really like. Uh, just snaps right in place. The accessories you get with this pen are actually really helpful. They have a use and care, just a little quick guide. And I highly recommend reading this because it, even if you know how to take care of an acrylic pen with sterling silver accents, uh, there's no harm in cementing it in your mind. It comes with a, like a jewelry cleaning cloth so you can polish that strip of sterling silver accents. And then a warranty card, which if you want it, it is there. So that's it for the packaging. For the actual pen, this is it. And I've actually been a little bit more fond of this pen than I anticipated. I mean, I was buying it for aesthetics, I'm not gonna lie. I'd heard really good things about Kilk, uh, but I wasn't anticipating this pen being such a comfortable writer, even from what I'd heard. I was like, oh, you know, I'm sure it's, it's a comfortable steel nib, whatever, you know it's a pretty pen. Why, why is anyone going to say anything negative about it? So, um, but no, I've been using it. It's very comfortable. Uh, the acrylic body, I haven't minded in the least. I will say, uh, probably after about 30 minutes of use, uh, my hand will start to feel it. I have a lot of damage in this hand, a lot of inflammation. So, I mean like three minutes with a pencil and I have to put it down. That's why fountain pens have been so amazing for me. I can write hours with my vanishing point before it bugs me and I can usually keep writing through the pain that I have like it's not so intense that I have to stop like with ballpoint pens and things like that. So this pen, uh, it's probably about 30 minutes to an hour before I feel it in my hand. That's really good for a steel nib for me. I love writing with steel nibs. They do wear out my hand a little quicker, gold nibs. Uh, they last a little bit longer. The pen aesthetically is absolutely stunning. Um, I love it. I love the resin body, even though I'm not usually a resin pen person. I think this one is stunning. It has this black body and they, they swirled this high sheen silver throughout so you get that celluloid look. I really love it. Uh, I was not anticipating enjoying the body look so much. I was really thinking that that swirled gray was going to be a gray and not this like high sheen look. I think it's so cool. As for the sterling silver accents, this is uh, in, uh, kind of mimicking a countdown leader, which I used to see all the time before films when I watched them when I was a kid. I watched so many silent pictures and just gold silver screen stuff. I mean, most of it I don't even know what the titles of the films were because I watched them on TV and was quite young and it was probably honestly before I could read really well. Like I remember sitting in front of the television and asking my mother the names of the actors, names of the movies, and trying to retain the information because I'd want to watch it again later and we didn't have Google. So <laughs> you'd have to pick up a TV guide or borrow your neighbors. But so we have a countdown leader. This is sterling silver and it is stamped. All of the sil sterling silver accents are stamped with 925K. Uh, the clip is a film strip, which I think is incredibly clever. And I've heard some comments about people saying that this was a little sharp, that the end of the clip was a little sharp. I have to agree. 
I don't feel like it would snag on anything. Like it, it doesn't feel like it would snag. It's just a little sharper than I would have anticipated. But I mean, I don't feel like it's gonna cut my finger. I don't feel like it's gonna snag on anything. No big deal. And something I haven't heard said, so I'm assuming this isn't on purpose, uh, but the rest of the clip, the way that it is put together here, it just reminds me of a projector, like a slide projector. I don't know if that's on purpose. It just kind of looks that way to me. And last but not least, there is the finial, which is a spinner top. So this is supposed to look like a film reel. I think it does. And I've had the most fun with this thing. I just, when I'm writing, I typically hold the cap in my hand and just sit there and spin it. Sometimes I'll just hold it with my thumb and spin it around. It has been quite entertaining. And it's a great conversational piece. Like people love to ask about this pen and they all want to spin it. Like <laughs> they all want to spin the, the film reel on the top. So that's been really fun. Oh, another thing I really enjoy about this pen is the taper on the end of the body of the pen acts as a vacuum seal to be posted. Uh, to be perfectly honest, I don't post this pen very often. It's a little heavy with all that sterling silver on the end, but I can write with it. Uh, it doesn't bother me too much. I just kind of prefer to hold it in my hand and fiddle with it. Uh, but the pen itself, very comfortable. Got a little bit of a taper here at the end of the pen grip, and I find that very comfortable to hold on to. So yeah, I have no complaints. It's just a couple little twists and it's on and off. It seals well. I really love this pen. I love using it and I'm glad it's in my collection. I would purchase it again. Like if I lost it, heaven forbid, and uh, had to get another one, it would take me a while to save up, but I would want to have this pen again. So. Uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing what else Kilk brings to their company. Their pens are quite lovely and uh, people really seem to be enjoying them. So I'm very happy for this newer company, especially one that's being really bold and saying, you know what, we're a boutique company and we hand make our pens. We don't, you know, hand finish them. They're not made on a bunch of machines or by a bunch of machines. We actually put them together. So I think that's so cool. And, uh, they make some really beautiful things. So that is the Camera Laterna fountain pen from Kilk. Uh, thank you so much for watching and let me know what you think of this pen in the comments below. Have you tried a Kilk pen? Would you like to try a Kilk pen? And uh, which one would you like to try? Thank you so much.